Hey guys, it's Holly from Kipcut Creatures. Um, I don't know if you follow me on Instagram at all or not, but I will put my name in the link below so you can. Um, but if you did, uh, you'll notice that recently I got a pretty sweet little Game Crafter haul. Um, it's the first time I've ever ordered from Game Crafter. I ordered four decks, uh, one tarot and three uh, oracle slash fortune telling decks. And we're gonna do mini reviews, which means I'm gonna try to keep these videos under 10 minutes. Um, so today we're going to do the Dancing Unicorn Oracle by uh, Melly Rose, and it is a really adorable little uh, deck, uh, 51 cards long, um, the most expensive out of the haul, which is why we're starting with it. Uh, it's $55.99, which at first makes you be like, Ooh, $51, dear lord, or I'm sorry, 50, uh, $55, dear lord. Um, but it is totally worth it. The um, the thing you need to remember about Game Crafter is that you don't order for quality of the product because the product, like the quality, is okay. Like the cardstock's thin. Um, the box, like this box, this is their pro box because um, she did put a. It's a larger deck. Um, it's just cardboard instead of chipboard. It's not really an amazing quality. Um, but you don't order for quality, and it's not bad quality. It's it's okay quality. Um, you order because you are supporting artists and creators that would otherwise have no other way to get their product out to us. So uh, for that reason alone, um, I'm more than happy to continue to order from Game Crafter. Uh, but this is, um, we're gonna talk about this deck. So this is the Dancing Unicorn Oracle and is like as, as you saw, it comes in the large pro box. Um, she spells unicorn a little bit different. It's unique, U-N-I-Q-U-O-R-N instead of U-N-I-C-O-R-N. So if you do go to search for it, just keep that in mind. Um, and uh, yeah, 51 cards and they are absolutely beautiful. So this is the deck, 51 of them. Um, like, I, like you said, like I, you know, again, 51 cards and it's only the sick. It's because the cardstock is thin. Um, each one is, it's, it's, but it, that makes it nice to shuffle. So that's good. Um, one little hiccup that I did see in the design of the Oracle is that, okay, here's the, here's the card. And then if you flip it over this way, the, um, the image is upside down and that's on all the cards. So I would have Melly maybe take a look at that and how she's got the PDF set up, um, or the, the, the JPEGs or what are the, however you, whatever you call them set up for printing and maybe correct that. Um, <clears throat> but other than that, that's the only thing that I've noticed as far as any wonkiness. Um, it comes with a little booklet, um, which is really cute. So right away you get a little white book, which is fantastic. Usually you don't get that with Game Crafter. Um, you usually just get printed out PDFs. You get one of those for her as well, too. It's 70 pages long. Um, the only reason I haven't printed it out to show you is because I have to go buy a ream of paper because being a grown up is hard some days. Um, but anyway, um, it comes with the sayings on the card are alphabetical, so they're really easy to find. Um, and then uh, you also get an activation. It's called a sacred activation. I've just been using it as an extra mantra for each card. Um, and then uh, apparently she's also encoded Anahata codes and assisting frequencies in these. I don't know what an Anahata code is. I briefly looked it up and it is not for me, um, but maybe you're into it. So that is something extra that you get with the, like it's, it's an extra layer of meaning added into the card. So that's kind of cool. Um, and then these are the cards. Each one is hand painted, um, meaning that she did not digitally render the backgrounds and then paint a unicorn over them. She actually hand paints each background um, and each unicorn, of course. Um, but each one is super different and really adorable. Uh, the unicorns have really great movement. Um, it's got really cute little sayings um, and they're just, they're super adorable. I, I just, I'm really happy with this deck. I'm really happy with the quality. Um, as far as the artwork is concerned, it's really bright, it's vivid. Um, keep in mind that sometimes my camera will make them look sparkly. They're not sparkly. Um, I think each card has like the UV coating on, so the color will stay nice, which is great. Um, again, it's great for shuffling. I will not be reading reversals with this deck. You do not need to do reversals. Um, she doesn't, the booklet and the PDF don't come with reversal meanings anyway. 
Um, so yeah, like I said, it's really cute. This oh, this is one of my favorites. It's just really adorable. I mean, like who doesn't love a little leaping unicorn? And this is the first unicorn like floofy anything that's kind of grabbed me. I usually like my artwork a little more down to earth, a little darker. Um, I don't want to say sketchier, but I love a sketchbook feel to my art uh, in my decks. It just, it, I don't know. So this is like really the first like pretty girly, um, ridiculously uh, bright and colorful deck that's kind of grabbed me. Um, so for that reason alone, it's it's definitely worth it. I, you know, I don't know. It's just, it's, it's an adorable deck. Like I said, the, the artwork is really cute. Um, if you go on Melly's website, which I will see how it looks sparkly. It's not sparkly. Um, if you go on Melly's website, uh, she's got some videos for actually creating unicorn paintings. So that's kind of fun to watch. She's an adorable little thing and she definitely deserves support. So, um, I'm not going to go through all of the, <laughs> this is another one of my favorites. Um, for obvious pun reasons. Um, but yeah, we're gonna do a one card draw. Um, I have stated before and I will state again, I really think that um, a 50 card, a 51 card uh, Oracle deck is too small to be doing a ginormous reading with. So, um, oh, just keep, also keep in mind when you shuffle, these are bigger cards. So again, my big ginormous hands have no problems really handling them. Um, they bend really nicely for shuffling, which is great because of the thinner cardstock quality. Um, but yeah, just keep in mind that they do feel large, but you can do the side by side rifle shuffle. You can also do hand over hand. Um, and you know, I've been bridging because that's what I do. It's a bad habit and I have yet to break it. Um, so yeah, they, they bridge pretty nicely. Um, you can do the hand over hand shuffle with them. Um, her instructions are to shuffle until a card like jumps out at you. I have yet to have that really happen. I've had it maybe happen two or three times in recent memory. Um, I don't know if it's just because I'm pretty decent at shuffling or because I kind of go a little slower with it, but I have, we have neither the time nor the patience. So I will um, just cut the deck and choose a card at random. And it is, oh, leap into brightness. Okay, so we are going to grab our little booklet and we are going to look up the meaning. Again, it's um, it's uh, alphabetical order. So it's actually, is it leap into lightness? It's lightness, okay, leap into lightness. Sorry, the cursive is a little difficult to read sometimes, but it is what it is. All right, looks like a B to me, really. Does it look like a B to anybody else? Um, but anyway, leap into lightness. Every step you take has the potential to make magic. Are you stepping out of love or out of fear? If you allow yourself to fill your body with delight, you'll be lifted into the perfect next step for you. If you leap with a lightness of spirit, like this unicorn cult, the colors of your life will necessarily, the colors in your life will necessarily spread, which is really nice. And then um, the activation is uh, diabetes deactivation, which the amount of cupcakes I eat, maybe I need, but I am not diabetic. Um, so I guess there would be no further mantra. Maybe it would be, <laughs> maybe it would just be like some Wilford Brimley energy coming into your life because we all love Wilford Brimley diabetes. Um, maybe some oatmeal, some Quaker oats, which diabetics shouldn't eat. Final thoughts on this deck. Okay, so Melly obviously put a lot of care and love into it. There's not much that I would improve. I think for the price, you definitely get what you pay for. The only thing I would love to see her do is look into maybe distributing it with a more professional publisher. I think that for the amount of time and care and quality that she does put into these cards, again, all hand painted, very beautiful. Um, the, the unicorns are just, they're super lively and gorgeous. I would love to see this done with a more professional, uh, publisher, maybe U.S. Game Systems, Rockpool would be another good one. They work with some smaller people, but I think that this would do really well, um, if it could reach a wider market and if the cards were a little bit better quality as far as card stock and box are concerned for the, like I said, for the love, the amount of love and care she put into it, it definitely deserves much better treatment than Game Crafter can give it. So definitely look into adding this into your collection. Again, it's an amazing deck and one of the first unicorn floofy creature decks that's ever 
really caught me and that's for a reason. So thank you guys for watching my review today.